Welcome everyone, my name is Krista Kelly and today I will be guiding you through your yoga practice. Grab any blocks if you may need them, any straps, whatever you typically use in your practice, maybe a blanket for Shavasana. So today we will be starting in child's pose. Today I'd like you to choose your child's pose. So toes together, knees apart, hips back to heels, or bring your knees together so that your belly can lay right on top of your thighs, reaching your arms forward. And for right now, I'd like you to just relax your arms down, bring your forehead to the mat. Allow the head to rock back and forth. Coming into a place of stillness after a few rocks. And I'd like to talk about our mantra or our intention today. So you're welcome to have your own, but I'd like to offer the mantra, I am grounded. So right now it feels as though we are anxious. Maybe you have feelings of disconnect. Maybe you have feelings of fear. And so when you feel like that, you feel really uprooted not grounded in the present moment. So I am grounded, I am grounded, I am grounded. And now take a moment in your child's pose to feel what's connected to the earth. So maybe you feel your hands, your forearms, your elbows, your knees and your shins. Take a deep breath in and empty out the breath. <sighs> now coming into breath practice here, focusing on our pranayam, breathing into the count of four, one, two, three, four, pausing at the top. And as you exhale, releasing by four, three, two, one, inhaling to the count of four, one, two, three, four, and exhaling by four, three, two, one. As you inhale, feel your chest expand, your diaphragm expands, pausing at the top. And with your exhale, the belly sinks in, chest in. Inhaling, heart expands down to the earth, the belly reaches. And then with your exhale, belly sinks back up in and chest Take an inhale, constrict at the back of the throat, ujjayi, exhale, and breathe in, and empty, inhale, I am grounded, and try exhaling any tension. And next breath in, reach as your arms forward. And with your exhale, walking your hands to the right side of the mat, stacking the left hand on top of the right. Take a breath in. And empty the breath out. And breathe in. And empty. And take another breath in. And release the breath. Next, inhale, walking your hands to the left side of the mat, stacking the right hand now on top of the left. Take a breath in and empty the breath. Fill up and empty. Take another inhale and release the breath. Next inhale, walk your hands back to center. This time, walking your hands out far, spread through the fingers. Take an inhale, expanding through each side of the body. And with your empty, sinking your hips back to your heels. Breathe in. And release the breath. Last one, breath in, I am grounded. And empty. Spreading through the fingers, take an inhale, coming up into tabletop position. Making sure your wrists, shoulder, and elbows are aligned. Hips are above the heel. Take an inhale, chest forward, tailbone tips up to the sky. And with your exhale, round through the spine for your cat pose. Inhale, chest expands, tailbone reaches up to the sky. And with your exhale, round through your back for cat. Take a few more on your own here. Inhaling, chest forward, tailbone tips up to the sky. And exhale, rounding through the spine. 
Try and feel each part of your body. And breathing in and emptying. Making sure not to rush the breath. Feeling grounded now here through your palms, through your fingers, through the tops of your feet. Feeling your shins connected to the earth. Feeling the back of the heart reaching up to the sky. Next exhale, bring yourself back to neutral spine and tabletop. Take an inhale, bringing the right arm up to the sky. Open up through the heart space. And with your exhale, thread the needle. Right hand goes in between the left arm and left knee. Right ear down to the mat. If you'd like, reach that left arm to the top of the mat, sinking the hips back to the heels. Breathe in, belly expands, and empty to stay. Take a few breaths here now. This is a tight space, making sure you're expanding through your chest and through your belly. And with your exhale, full exhale out. Try to really focus on your exhale today, making sure that you fully expand with the inhale and fully deflate with the exhale. Next inhale, walk that left arm back under the left shoulder. Bring that right arm up to the sky and then back down to the mat. Let's take a reset here. Take an inhale, chest forward, tailbone tips. I am grounded. Exhale, round through the spine for cat. Inhale, heart space forward, tailbone tips up for cow. Exhale, round through the spine for cat. Now come up onto the finger tops. Take a big inhale, expanding through the scapula and the back body. And with your exhale, coming back down to the fingers, to the hands. Next inhale, takes that left arm up to the sky, expanding through the chest. And with your exhale, thread the left arm in between your right hand and right knee, right ear down to the mat or to the block. Take the right arm to the top of the mat if you'd like a little more, sinking the hips back to the heels. Take an inhale again, tight space. I am grounded. Exhale. Hmm. Ujjayi breath. Breathe in. Fully expand through your heart and the belly. And exhale. Empty it out. Fully breathe in. Feel that right side expand. And empty to stay. Last one. Breathe in. Don't rush it. And empty back. Next inhale, walk your right hand back under the right shoulder. Take the left arm up to the sky and down to the mat. Reset again. Inhale, chest comes forward, tailbone tips up to the sky. And with your exhale, round through the spine for your cat. Next inhale brings you back to center. Coming back to our intention here. Feeling grounded, keeping that left hand planted down to the mat, making sure you spread through the fingers. Right arm expands, thumb up to the sky. And when you feel grounded and ready, expand that left leg long. So from here, let's practice off that full breathing in through the lungs and all the way down to the diaphragm and belly. Take a big breath in, lift up through that right arm and left leg. And with your exhale, tap the right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, expand, feel grounded through that left hand. Exhale, tap in the center. Inhale, expand. And exhale, tap in the center. This time, inhale, expand. And with your exhale, take that right arm behind your back, bend through the left knee. Take a big breath in to open up through the heart. And with your exhale, bring the left knee, right hand back down to the mat. Resetting again. Inhale, chest comes forward, tailbone tips up. And with your exhale, round through the spine for cat pose. Inhaling back to center. Feeling the energetic difference now between both of your hands. This time, grounding down through the right hand, extending that left arm long. Bring the right leg to the back of the room. Lift up through that left thumb and right leg, squeezing through the back body. The core is also the back body. You can find strength here. Gaze comes down at the mat to protect the cervical spine. Take a big inhale to the count of four. I am grounded. And with your exhale, tap the left elbow to right knee, pause and squeeze, engage through the core. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract, not rushing this. Inhale, expand. And exhale, contract. This time, inhale as you expand. Bend through that right knee. Left arm comes behind the back. 
Take a big breath in to open up through your heart. And with the exhale, right knee and left arm down to the mat. Reset again, feel grounded here through the palms, through the tops of the feet, through the shins. Inhale, chest forward, tailbone tips. Exhale, round through your spine for cat pose. Inhaling back to neutral. Tuck the toes under, reach the arms long, spread through the fingers, and let's start with a bent knee, downward facing dog. So really bringing that chest towards the tops of the thighs. Now what is grounded here? What feels rooted? Feel your hands connected to the earth, spread through the fingers. And when you're ready, take an inhale. And with your exhale, push through your knees and come into your downward facing dog. Now take your time, walk out your dog here, and do what feels good for you to start moving and arriving into this space. Maybe extending one leg at a time to get out any kinks or tight spots. And then coming back into some stillness. Gaze comes in between your hands to the top of the mat. Bending the knees one tiny toe step at a time, walking the feet up so that your feet come in between your hands. Heel toeing the feet a little bit wider than hips distance. Lift the toes up, spread them, and ground back down to the earth. Now grab opposite elbows. Let the crown of the head reach down to the earth. Bend slightly through the knees and start to rock back and forth. Allow this to be a place where you open up through your hamstrings, where you reconnect to that intention. I am grounded. You can close your eyes here. Allow your head to get heavy down to the earth. Allow whatever weighs so heavily on your shoulders to release. Imagine the crown of your head opening up and whatever fears, apprehensions you have melting down, sealing them back up, feeling that release in the body, feeling a lightning in the shoulders and the hamstrings while feeling grounded, releasing the elbows, Heel toeing the feet back together, toes touch, heels apart. Take an inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, crown of the head reaches. And with your exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And with your exhale, rotating the wrists down by your sides, coming into mountain pose. So from here again, lifting up through the toes, planting them back down to the earth. With your next inhale, take your arms up, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers spin in. And with your exhale, right hand comes down to right thigh, open up through the left side body. Inhaling back to center. And with your exhale, now the right arm reaches, left arm down to the thigh. Inhale back to center. And with your exhale, swan diving down to the earth. Feeling that opening in the hamstring, stability in the core. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches. Exhale, planting the palms, step the left foot and the right foot to the back of the mat. Staying here in plank pose, finding your strength. Sometimes in these poses, it often challenges our strength. Belly button up into spine, making sure that you have wrist, elbow, and shoulder alignment. Take an inhale. And with your exhale, push into your downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, step the left foot and then the right foot to the top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, all the way up, biceps by the ears. And with your exhale, swan diving back down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold, fingertips down to the earth. Right foot stays planted to the top of the mat. Left leg goes long. Bring that left knee down to the mat and release the top of the left foot. Making sure here that you have a knee to ankle alignment. You may need to walk out the foot a little bit. We wanna make sure we're on railroad tracks. Hips are squared to the front of the room. So from here, the right hip will want to sneak forward. Can you bring it back a little bit? Can you engage through the core? Maybe push off through that right foot for better alignment. We don't need a huge bend here. So when you're ready, when you're feeling your ribs stacked on top of the hips, having your biceps by the ears, pinky fingers spun in with an inhale. Take a breath in and empty to stand. 
fill up, find the strength in this pose and the balance, and empty out the breath. Last one, breathe in, and with your empty hands on either side of that right foot. Walking that right foot in towards the center of the mat. Come up onto your fingertops. Take an inhale, brings your chest forward. And with an exhale, push through that right leg, coming into half Hanuman. So half split. Again, that right hip will want to sneak up. Can you peel that right heel back towards your body? The more you flex your toes towards your face, the more sensation you'll feel in the hamstring. Remember that sense of grounding. Take a breath in, and with your empty, bring the chest over that right thigh, opening up through the hamstring. Take a flow here. Inhale, open up and exhale melt take a breath in lift up and empty to melt next breath in lifts up and with your empty take that left hand to the outside of the right leg take a little twist here maybe you can dip that right pinky toe down to the mat feeling an opening in the outside of that right glute the right quad taking a twist here maybe gazing over that right shoulder next breath in swivels you back to center Walking the hands to the top of the mat. Keep that left hand planted. Right arm goes up to the sky for a twist. Breath in. And with your empty right hand to the outside of the right toes. Lift up through the left knee. Left foot meets the right top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, root to rise. Biceps by the ears. I am grounded. I am safe. Exhale, swan diving our hands into prayer all the way down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, mountain fold. Keep the left foot planted, right foot now to the back of the mat. Whenever you're ready, right knee comes down to the mat. Walking that left foot over slightly, release the top of the right foot. Making sure again that we have the knee to ankle alignment. Spread through the toes. Feel that foot grounded down into the earth. And when you're ready, take an inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in. Again, that left hip will want to sneak forward. Can you peel it back? Can you take out the bend in the back? Breath in and empty. Feel that grounding. And breathe in. Feel the calm in the body with the breath and empty. Next, inhale, fill up. And with your empty hands on either side of that left foot, walk that heel in slightly. Take a breath in, come up onto your fingertops. And with your empty, push through the left leg and walk back to half splits. I always have to adjust a little bit here and that's okay. The more you peel the toes back towards your face, the more sensation you feel. You can even push on the gas to see if you feel a difference here. Coming up onto the fingertops, take a full breath in, and at the top, I am grounded, bend through the elbows, and melt the chest over that left thigh. Breathe in, fill up your lungs, belly expands, and empty, melt over that left leg. Inhale, lifts you up, and exhale, melts. Inhale, lift, and now take that right hand to the outside of the left leg. So take a little twist here, breathing in and emptying out. Again, you might wanna bring that pinky toe down to the earth to feel that sensation now on the outside of the glutes. Breathing in and emptying out. Fill up your lungs, feel that twist and empty. Last one, breathe in and empty out. Next inhale, swivels you back to center, walking the hands to the top of the mat. This time keeping the right hand grounded to the earth, left arm up to the sky for a twist. Left hand to the outside of the left foot. Tuck the right toes under. This time gaze comes up to the top of the mat. Bring that right foot to meet the left, moving into sun salutation A's. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Feel rooted and grounded through the feet. Inhale, root to rise. Biceps by the ears, pinky fingers spin in. And with your exhale, swan diving down to the earth. Feeling some heat in the body. Inhaling, halfway lift. Crown of the head reaches. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Step or hop back to your plank. Remain here for a moment with me, making sure the belly button is into the spine. We want the wrist, the shoulder, and the elbow all aligned here, spreading through the hands. 
making sure that when we go into our chaturanga that we have correct alignment. You can bring your knees down to the mat, or if you'd like to move through chaturanga, tilting slightly forward. And with your exhale, squeezing the elbows into the ribs. This is as far as you need to go down to activate the triceps. With your inhale, bring your heart space forward to the front of the room. And with your exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here and just lift through the heels. And with your exhale, melt them back down to the earth. Let's take two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, melt. Last one, I am grounded. Inhale, lift. And exhale, melt. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, yogi's choice, step or hop. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches, spine long. Exhale, mountain fold. Inhaling, biceps by the ears, tall mountain, feel and find your strength. Exhaling, melting back down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift, hands to shins, crown of the head reaches. Exhale, now plant the palms, step or hop back to your high plank. Moving through your chaturanga safely, not rushing through the breath here. Maybe your upward dog inhales a little bit longer. And take your time to feel each part of your body, your muscles, your bones as you move into downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, step four, hop. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, mountain fold. Inhale, biceps by the ears, tall mountain, I am strength. Exhaling out, I am grounded. Whatever stress you have, focus on that. Inhale, halfway lift and let it go. Exhale, fold, play at the palms, step or hop back, high plank. Moving through chaturanga, feeling the heat and your body, trying to remain present by feeling what is grounded onto the earth, by feeling your body connected to your breath. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Exhale, step or hop. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches. Exhale, mountain fold, hamstrings light up. Inhaling, biceps by the ears, tall mountain. And with your exhaling, swan diving down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, play at the palms, step or hop back. Moving through your chaturanga or skipping it, moving into downward facing dog. Whatever makes you feel more grounded in the breath and the body is what I'd like you to do today. Take an inhale, right leg goes long. Keep the hip square here. So this is not square and this is square. You can even point your toes down to the earth. Take a big breath in and with your empty, bring that right foot in between your hands. Moving up to a high crescent lunge, but first, again like we did in our low lunge, making sure the knee and the ankle are aligned. Toes can be spread here. We're working on grounding, so feeling that foot rooted down into the earth. Whenever you're ready, take an inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in. High crescent lunge. Feeling some heat and strength in our body. In this time, it's difficult to feel that strength. So can you locate it? Take a big breath in, and with your empty, tap that left knee down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap the left knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. And with your exhale, bring that left arm to the front of the room, right arm to the back of the room. Little twist here, feeling out the spine, gaze to the back of the room if you like. Breathe in, empty to stay. This is challenging, breath in, twist out what doesn't serve you and empty. Breathe in and empty out fear. Next inhale, lunge your biceps by the ears and exhale, left hand comes down to the mat, right arm reaches. Gaze comes up to the sky, breathe in and with your empty right hand to the outside of the right foot. Right foot meets the left, plank. Take a flow here or skip it and move into downward facing dog. Again, focusing on what's connected to the earth to feel that sense of grounding. Whenever you're ready, take that left heel long, making sure the hips are squared to the short end of the mat. Breathe in and with your empty, bring that left foot in between your hands. Coming up onto the finger tops here, again, making sure that we have a knee and ankle alignment, never allowing the knee to track out over that big toe. Whenever you're ready, take an inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in. Making sure that we have a good base for that left leg. 
Feel the belly button into the spine. Feel the strength in the body. Take a big breath in. And with the empty, right knee taps down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lightly tap that right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. And exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. And with your exhale, right arm comes to the front of the room, left arm to the back of the room. So your gaze can come all the way back to the left hand, breathing in, finding strength in this place. You may be a little wiggly like me today, and that's okay. Meet yourself where you are. Take a few deep breaths here. This is often a place where we can elicit a lot of heat and a lot of struggle. Making sure you breathe in fully and empty fully. Next breath in, biceps by the ears. And with your exhale, right hand now down to the earth. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Take a breath in to reach that left arm. And now left hand outside of the left foot. Right foot and left foot meet into high plank. Bring the knees down to the mat. And now sink back into your child's pose. This is a beautiful place for you to connect and see what's going on with your body. Allow the heart rate to slow down, coming back to the breath. So if you're having ragged breaths, if you're feeling as though the room is closing in ever, fully breathing in so that the belly expands and emptying out. Oftentimes we rush the exhale, so I'd like to challenge you again today to come back to that space of grounding. Also, now that you're in the child's pose, what is connected to the earth? feeling your hands rooted down, feeling the safety on the mat, feeling the forearms, feeling the tops of the knees down through the shins and the tops of the feet. Take a breath in, part the lips and exhale. <sighs> Next inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Now walk out your dog again. Can you reset your intention? Is your mind going elsewhere? Can you come back into the room? Can you come back into this space? Can you connect the mind, the body, and the breath here? Moving through some warrior poses here, feeling the strength that you do have residing in your body, feeling grounded through this practice. We're gonna take a few breaths in each of these poses and then we'll run through them one breath at a time. Move at your own breath, move at your own pace. When you're ready, take an inhale, extend the right leg long. Exhale and bring the right foot in between the hands. Whenever you're ready, whenever the knee is aligned with the ankle, take an inhale and bring the biceps by the ears for your high crescent lunge. Take a breath in, empty to stay. Breathe in, release the breath, fill up and empty. Next inhale is a transition. When you exhale, moving into your warrior two, making sure the right heel aligns with the left arch of the foot, gazing over that right middle finger. Now find what feels good for you here. So making sure the chest is stacked on top of the hips, making sure the knee is aligned with the ankle, gazing over that right middle finger, breathing in and emptying the breath. Next inhale, flips the right palm. And as you exhale, bring the left hand down to the left leg, reaching that right arm to the back of the room or up to the sky. Stay here for a few breaths, breathing in, feeling that right side opening, emptying, not collapsing into that left side. Breath in, release the breath. Last one, you can do this. Breathe in, find your strength and empty. Next inhale, belly button into spine, strong core, inhaling up to your strong warrior. Take a big breath in, and with your empty moving into side angle, bring that right arm to the right thigh, reaching the left arm forward to the front of the room. You're welcome to take a bind here, maybe to your back, maybe you bring that right hand down to the earth, reaching that left arm forward. Whatever feels good for you here in this pose is what I'd like you to do. So fully finding your breath. This is a difficult pose to hold for a long time. So whenever you're ready, take an inhale back up to your warrior two. Straighten through that left leg, the right leg, excuse me. And with your exhale, recline so that the right arm reaches up to the sky. Feeling a stretch again in this right side body. 
Next, inhale, strong core. Come back up to straight leg warrior two. Extend the right arm as long as you can and bring that right hand down to either the shin, the ankle, or fingertips down to the mat for a trikonasana triangle pose. So from here, we don't want to collapse into this right leg. Take a micro bend in the right knee. Maybe if you're feeling like you're collapsing, you can spin the chest up, bringing the arms forward as though you're holding a beach ball. Breathing in and empty. Fill your lungs. You are strong. Your body has you. And empty. Last one. Breath in and release the breath. Cartwheel the arms up. Bend through the right knee. Warrior two. Cartwheeling the hands down to either side of that right foot. Right foot meets the left high plank. Breath in, tilt your heart space forward. With your empty, melting the chest down. Chaturanga opens your heart space. And roll over the toes to downward facing dog. Now coming into the other side, if you are unable to locate your strength, knowing you can always come back to that place. Our mantra is I am grounded. I am grounded. Take an inhale, lift the left leg long. With your empty, bring that left foot in between your hands. Again, I am grounded. Feel that leg rooted to the earth. Left knee on top of the left ankle. Whenever you feel steady and strong, take an inhale, biceps by the ears. Sink into where this pose feels good for you today. Take a breath in. Empty to stay. Gaze is forward. Breathe in and release the breath. I am grounded. Breath in and empty. Take an inhale for transition. And with your empty, spin that right foot down so that we have a left arch and heel alignment. Gaze out over that left middle finger, feeling that strength of the warrior, feeling strong in this pose, feeling grounded and rooted through that left leg. Breathe in, release the breath. Fill up, I am grounded. And release fear. And last one, breathe in. And empty. Next inhale, flip that left palm. Maybe reach slightly forward and recline your warrior. Now taking a big breath in to reach and open through that left side. Empty to stay, not collapsing into this leg. Breathing in. Empty the breath. Last one, breath in, I am grounded. Empty, feel the strength in the body. Belly button into spine, feel your core come back up into worry one with an inhale. And with an exhale, tilt forward into your side angle. Again, you can reach this arm forward. You can reach it up to the sky. You can have your forearm to the thigh. You can have it down to the earth, or you're welcome to take a bind if that's in your practice. What I want you to do wherever you are is utilize your breath. Full inhales to the count of four and full exhales, feeling that rooted, grounded feeling in that left leg, feeling your foot supporting you. Last round of breath here, full breath in and empty out. Now with your inhale, belly button back up into spine, strong warrior two, gaze out over that left middle finger, straighten through that front left leg and recline here. Bring that left arm up to the sky with a straight left leg. Inhaling back up to straight leg warrior two. And with your exhale, reach until you can't reach anymore. Bring that left hand down to the shin. Maybe today you feel like you don't have as much opening in your hip. Whatever feels good for you here today. If you feel as though you're collapsing into that left leg, take a little micro bend in the leg and the knee and reach your arms forward, feeling the strength of your core. Again, belly button into the spine, maybe spinning the heart space towards the sky. Breathe in and empty the breath. Fill up and empty. Last one, breathe in. I am grounded, empty. Next, inhale, bend through that left knee. Come back up into your warrior two. Cartwheeling hands down to either side of that left foot. Left foot meets the right. High plank. Knees down to the mat and move into your child's pose again. Now coming back again and again and again to your mat. Coming back to the place, doing a scan here in the body. What feels heavy? What feels tight? What can you release? What can you control right now? Can you be here now? Can you feel grounded in this present moment knowing this is the only one we have? Take a breath in 
and empty. And breathe in. Release the breath. Last one. Inhale, I am grounded. And release fear. I inhale, lift the gaze to the top of the mat. Exhale, rolling over the toes to downward facing dog. Now we're moving into this flow a little bit quicker. Can you feel the strength? Can you feel grounded in your body? Inhaling, right leg long. Exhale, bring that right foot in between your hands. Whenever you're ready, take a big breath in, high crescent lunge. With your empty move into your warrior two. Take a breath in, flip the palm. Empty, recline your warrior. Strong core, inhale back up to warrior two. And with your exhale, move into side angle pose. Inhale, strong core back up to warrior two, straighten through the front right leg. And exhale, reclining back. Inhaling, strong core back up straight arm. And with your exhale, moving into triangle pose, not collapsing into that right leg. Next inhale brings you back up to your warrior two, bend through that right leg and cartwheel your hands down either side of that right foot. Right foot needs the left. Take your flow or skip it and move into downward dog. Where does your body feel comfortable going today? Take time to figure out how it feels and don't rush the breath. Trust your body, feel rooted and grounded and let go of fear. Inhaling left leg long. Exhale, bring it through in between your hands. Whenever you're ready, whenever you have a need to ankle alignment, take an inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in. Breath in. And with your empty, open up to your warrior two, gaze out over the left middle finger. Next inhale, flips the left palm. Recline your warrior, opening up through the left side body. Inhaling back up to your warrior two. And exhaling into side angle pose. Feel the strength in that left leg. Inhaling back up to warrior two, straighten through that front left leg and recline here, straight arms. Belly button up into the spine and move back into straight leg, warrior two. Reach until you can't reach anymore, coming into triangle pose. Feel the strength in that left leg. Next, inhale, bend through the left knee, come back up into your warrior two and cartwheel your hands down to either side of the left foot. Left foot meets the right. Stay in your plank here. We're testing the body. Take a breath in. Empty to stay. You got this. Breathe in. And empty. Last one. Breath in. And with your empty, rotate your weight over to the right hand and the outside pinky finger of the right toe. When you're ready, reach that left arm up to the sky for Vashi Sasana, side plank. Lift that left hip up high. Breathe in. Empty, your body has you, you are strong. Breath in, I'm grounded through that right hand. And empty, last one, breathe in. And empty, come back into your high plank. Take any modifications you may need, which may be a knee down to the mat. Breathe in, and now rotate over to the left side. You may need to bring that knee down. Lifting that right arm up to the sky. If you're feeling steady and strong here, lifting up through the hips, Engaging through the core, breath in and empty. Breathing in, making sure we have alignment here and empty. Last one, breath in and release back into your high plank. Take one more breath in and with your empty downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. And with your empty, step the right foot to the outside pinky finger of the right hand. Left foot to the outside pinky finger of the left. Moving into your Malasana squat. So today it may just look like your hands on your knees. If you'd like a little bit more, sinking all the way down here. Knees are lining up with your elbows, maybe bringing your thumb knuckles into your heart space, feeling the tailbone tipping down to the earth. And take your time here to really sink into this pose and open up through the hips. Maybe you do a little figure eight here. Maybe you find a little space that you may need. Maybe you close your eyes or you soften your gaze just to breathe into the space, breathe into this practice. Remaining here now, take a breath in. I am grounded, feel the feet on the earth, empty out any fear. Breath in, I am grounded. Release any pain you may be feeling. Mm, breathe in, I am grounded. 
and release the past or the future. Blink the eyes open. Next inhale, push through the legs, coming to the top of the mat, heel toeing the feet back together. Take an inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Keep that left foot to the top of the mat. Bring the right leg long, moving into a forward fold. Legs are wide, feet are parallel to one another. Again, feeling grounded and rooted through both of your feet. You can bring your fingertips down to the mat or down to a block, whatever feels comfortable for you. Now I'm gonna leave this up to you for Yogi's choice. So you can interlace the fingers and bring them behind the skull. You can bring your fingertips down to the earth. You can flip your palms and walk all the way back so that the skull is down to the earth. You can grab the toes wherever you are. Take a few breaths here, fully filling the lungs and emptying the lungs out. Breathing in and emptying the breath. Two more, breath in and empty. And the last one, breathe in and release the breath. Now, wherever your hands are, bring them under your gaze. Keep the left palm planted to the earth. Take an inhale, right palm goes up to the sky, opening up through your heart. Left, right hand down to the earth, and now the left arm goes up to the sky, opening up through the right hip. Bringing that left hand back. Take an inhale, and we're moving so that we bring our right hip on top of the right heel. Breath in, moving into side lunge with your exhale, stacking that right hip on top of the heel. Next breath in allows you to travel over to the left side, bringing the right toes up to the sky. And now take your own flow here. I'd like you to breathe through this flow. So maybe today this looks like this, opening up through the hips. Maybe today you're feeling really balanced and you can bring your hands into your heart, moving back and forth on the mat fluidly feeling which foot feels grounded to the earth, feeling the strength of your core not rushing through the breath. So take your time here a few more times, and I'd like you to come all the way over to the right heel when you're ready. Gaze over to the left foot and walking your hands up so that you move into a low lunge on the left side. Gazing down, right foot meets the left to the top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhaling, biceps by the ears, and this time with your exhale, right hand down to the right thigh, opening up through the left side. You can even take this left foot behind the right leg. Inhaling, back to center, and with your empty left hand down to the left thigh, maybe walk that right foot behind the left leg. Inhaling, back to center, and just like we did before, rotating the wrist down. So we'll do a longer pigeon pose today, so I wanna make sure that we're open through the hips. I also wanna focus on the grounding. I am grounded, our mantra today. Take the right foot, allow it to be rooted and connected down to the earth, moving into our tree pose. So maybe you start with your hands on your hips, maybe you need a little bit more balance, so reaching for the wall. Take that left foot and bring it into the ankle, the calf belly, or all the way up to the right inner thigh, never at the knee. Focusing your dressy on an unmoving spot. So find something that's not moving. Open up through that left hip. Whenever you feel ready, bring your hands into Anjali Mudra or prayer pose. Finding your focus. Finding that rooted, grounded feeling in that right leg. Pushing that left foot into the right thigh, right thigh into the left foot simultaneously. Next inhale, brings your arms up to the sky and grow your tree. Now remembering your breath. Breathing in and empty. Breath in, release the breath. One more, breathe in and empty the breath. Now bring that left knee parallel to the hip. Plantar flex through that left foot. So your right foot will be at the top of the mat. Whenever you're ready, take an inhale and come into your warrior three. Take a breath in, feel the balance and the strength in that right leg, and empty. Breathe in, release the breath. Last one, breath in. And with your empty, bring your fingertips down to the mat so you are in standing splits now. 
Take a breath in, keeping that left leg expanded. And with your empty, bring the left knee into the chest. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back to center. Last one. Inhale, extend. I am grounded. Exhale, back to center. Left foot meets the right. Now wiggle out your knees here. There's a lot of sensation going on in that right leg. Take a second to find your breath. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, biceps by the ears. And exhaling, hands into prayer into heart center. This time I'll do it from this angle so I don't have to make as many movements. Keep the left foot connected to the earth. Find your balance here. Lift up through the toes, spread them, and root them back down to the earth. Feel the whole leg grounded. Bring that right foot into the ankle, calf belly, or all the way up to the inner thigh, opening up through that right hip never at your knee. Feel the belly button into the spine, strong core, focusing on an unmoving spot, focusing on your breath, focusing on that feeling of grounded. Inhaling biceps by the ears. And if you'd like, grow your tree out empty. Breathe in, release the breath, fill up, and release. Last one for good measure, breathe in and empty. Next inhale brings that right knee parallel with the right hip. Plantar flex through that right foot. You know where we're going here now. Take a breath in, maybe slight bend to that right knee and extend the right leg long so moving into your warrior three. That right hip will want to peel up so you can you bring it parallel to the left. You can have your arms out to the sides, you can have your arms into prayer, whatever feels good for you here. Breathing in, and empty. If you fall out, come back in and breath in and empty. That is the practice of yoga. Last one, breathe in and empty. Practice not perfection. Breath in and with your empty, bring your fingertips down to the earth, hips squared. Take a breath in, feeling that right leg expand. And with your empty, bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, expand. Expand, exhale, bring it back into the chest. Last one, inhale, expand. Exhale, light up the core and come back into the chest. Right foot meets the left. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, biceps by the ears. I am grounded, fingertips up to the sky, maybe mini back bend. And exhale, surrender down to the earth. Inhaling, long spine, crown of the head reaches. Plant the palms, step or hop back to your high plank. With your exhale, move into your downward facing dog. Moving into our pigeon pose today. So if you know that typically pigeon isn't something that you like to practice, come onto your back and I'd like you to first stack that right ankle just, up, just below that left knee. And that will be your modification. If you would like to go into full pigeon pose, inhaling, extending the right leg long. And with your empty, bring the right knee to the right wrist. And take a second to settle in. This right hip might want to come forward again. So can you bring it back? The closer you bring that right shin parallel to the short end of the mat, the more opening you'll feel. So if you just want a little bit less today, bringing that right heel into the hips. So I'd like you to take a little bit of a flow with me. Bring your fingertips to the outsides of your mat, feeling rooted and grounded in your hands, feeling that connectedness. Take a breath in, open up through your heart. And with your exhale, bend through the elbows, melting the chest down to the mat. Inhale, flow, open up through your heart. And exhale, melt down to the earth. Last one, inhale, lift. And now exhale, settle into your pigeon pose. I like to stack my arms. You're welcome to grab a block. You're welcome to stay up on your arms, maybe your forearms, or you fully extend down. So here in your pigeon pose, oftentimes we experience a lot of emotion. There's a lot that is stored in the hips. So just paying attention to the way that you feel and what comes up for you. And the mind works in the way that it's bouncing all over the place from the past, present, future, back to the past, staying there and the future of staying there. Can you focus on your breath? and bring all of your energy into this present moment? Can you feel what's connected to the earth? So feeling the outside of that right glute, the right calf, feeling the entirety of the left leg down onto the earth. And have you lost your breath? 
Can you fully breathe in so that the belly and the chest expand and empty? Fill up, I am grounded. Exhale out. Mm, breathe in and empty your breath. Mm, next inhale, rotate to the outside of the right glute. Extend that left leg long so that we're coming into figure four. Place the right foot to the inside of that left leg so you can come all the way up like we did in tree pose, but if that's uncomfortable, you can wiggle it down a little bit here. Bringing your hands to the outsides of the hips, crown of the head long. Inhaling biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in. And with your empty, a slight rotation over to the left and surrender over that left leg. So allow your breath to fully fill. And with your empty, feel your chest getting closer to the leg. Now you don't have to bring your hands to your toes or to a block. You can have your hands at your shin. You can have your hands at your quad, whatever feels comfortable for you. Take another two rounds of breath here, breathing in and empty. Breath in, release the breath. Last round, breathe in and empty. Next inhale, walk your arms back. Take the right arm behind the right hip. Push all the way into that right hand. Lift your hips up. Left arm goes to the back of the room. Open up, reversing that pose. And with your empty, bringing your hips back down to the earth. Crossing your ankles here. And whatever way you'd like to make your way into downward facing dog, you're more than welcome to do so. So take a second here to wiggle out. You may feel some tightness in that right leg. Whenever you're ready, take that left leg long with an inhale. And with your exhale, bring the left knee to the left wrist. And again, if you'd like to do recline pigeon, that's up to you. Take a second here to adjust. So that left hip will want to come forward. Can you align it with the right? Maybe you need to lift up through that right knee so you can find some space here. Again, the closer you bring your, your heel into your hips, the less sensational feel. So you may want to walk it out a little bit here, just like we did before, long spine. Hands to either side of the mat. Taking our flow here. Take a big inhale, I am grounded. Exhale, melting the chest over the left leg. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, melt back down. Take a full breath in, open up through your heart. And now with your exhale, surrender into this pose. So one side may feel a little bit tighter than the other. You're also welcome to take a little wiggling in this pose, maybe micro rocks to the right and to the left. Feeling an opening in the sensation in the left hip. And allow yourself to fully surrender into this moment. And now notice what's connected to the earth. The outside of that left calf. Maybe you feel your quad connected in the entirety of the right leg. You can fully breathe in and empty. And breath in and release the breath. Last one, breathe in and empty. Next inhale, walk your hands back up. And now come to the outside of that left glute, swinging that right leg forward. Coming into our figure four, you may need to scooch back a little bit bringing that left foot to the inner right leg. Making sure we have a long spine here at first, maybe hands out by your sides. Take an inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in. Take a slight rotation to the right, and with an empty, allow your chest to melt over the right leg. And again, you may come here today. You may feel a tightness in the hamstrings, and that's okay. Yoga is not about touching your toes. It's connecting the body and the breath. So let's take three rounds of breath here, breathing in and releasing the breath. Fill up and empty. Breathe in and empty. Next inhale, walk your hands back up. This time taking that left arm behind the left hip. Next inhale, lift up through the hips, open up, reversing that pose and exhaling back down to seated. This time extending the left leg to meet the right. And again, you may need to find your cis bones here. So those bones underneath of your glutes, finding space, plantar flexing the toes towards your, 
towards your face and allow the spine to be long. Hands on either side of the mat. Take an inhale, biceps by the ears, feeling that grounded rootedness in the heels and the sit bones and in the legs. And with your exhale, nice and slow, surrendering over straight legs. So for here, yogi's choice. If you'd like to take a little round in the spine, that's okay for today. If you'd like to fold like a book, keeping the spine long and fully extending. Now feeling whatever sensation that comes up here for you. Maybe you feel a little tightness in the hamstrings and the hips. Maybe you feel a little bit of heaviness in your mind. Can you come back to the mantra, I am grounded? Can you come back to here and now? Can you come back to your mind? Breathe in. And with your empty, fully surrender into this pose. Next inhale, walk your hands back up. And this time, bringing the feet together into Baddha Konasana feet together and now if you'd like a little bit more bringing those heels closer in you can interlace your fingers and wrap them around the toes if yours are cold like mine take a big inhale and with your empty bend through the elbows and surrender all the way down now for here you might want to move on to your forearms you might have a block or you may like to fully extend those arms forward whatever feels good for you today take three rounds of breath inhale and empty. Mm, breathing in. Release the breath. Mm, last one. Breathe in. And empty. Next inhale. Walk your hands back up. And now bring the knees together. Feet connected to the earth. Bringing your arms forward to the front of the mat. I'd like you to engage through the core here. Moving into our Shavasana. Take a full inhale, and with your empty one vertebra at a time, rolling all the way down into Shavasana. Whatever feels good for you here now, I want you to move into a space that allows you to feel comfortable. And take a breath in and empty. Now allow your breath to go back to normal. And allow the pace to feel comfortable for your body. If you feel yourself getting panicked, come back to that four part breath. And close your eyes or soften your gaze, whatever feels safe for you. Feel the back of the head connected to the earth. Release any tension that you may have between your brows. Allow your eyes to get heavy. Release the tongue from the roof of the mouth and allow it to lay in the cradle of the bottom jaw. And release the jaw. And feel the whole face soften. Whatever weighs so heavily on your shoulders, allow it to melt away. Feeling a sensation traveling through the biceps and the triceps, the elbows, the forearms, all the way through each and every finger. And allow that sensation to swirl around your heart and your chest. Allow the torso to get heavy. Now feel a softening in your belly. Bring your awareness down to your hips, allowing them to get heavy as well. Feeling a softening sensation through the quads, the knees, the shins, and the calves, through your heel, the arch of your foot, the tops of your feet, all the way through your toes. Feeling the body get heavy. I am grounded. that will enter into your mind and as quickly as they come in let them go 
in your control. Yoke the last part of this practice. Feel the body fully surrendering into the earth, feeling that grounding sensation in the present moment, allowing yourself this moment. back into the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Maybe you reach your arms above your head like it's the first time you woke up in the morning, legs long. And empty rolling over to one side, allowing your arm to cradle your head. And take the last few moments here to feel some appreciation and gratitude for yourself for making it here today and for putting your mental health and your body first. Take a big breath in. Part the lips and sigh out fear. Take a breath in. And empty. Last one, breathe in. And release. Sealing the lips. Rolling up into easy pose, Sukhasana, cross leg. Bringing your hands into prayer, Anjali Mudra, thumb knuckles into the heart center. Take a moment here, again, to appreciate yourself for taking this time for you. Bring the thumb knuckles up to the third eye. The light and the love within me honors and bows to the light and the love within each and every one of you. Namaste.